Hello there, everybody. Uh, Data Pioneer here, and today I'm out on my Debian 10 system, and I thought I would uh, take a look at Cockpit on Debian 10. I did a video earlier um, on uh, Fedora 31 Workstation running Cockpit, so I thought I would uh, take a look at Cockpit in Debian 10. A little bit different, but we'll take a look at it. So if you want to come along with me, please join me today. I'm glad you're here. And so let's take a look at Cockpit for Debian 10. Take a look at it. Okay, I'm at the login screen here for my Debian 10 system. I'm going to go ahead and put in my username and password. I'll click in the field. I'm a data Pioneer and my password. And log in. All right, and the reason I'm getting into my Debian system today is I'm going to show you that I've installed Cockpit for Debian 10. Uh, and so here's my Debian 10 all themed out for me um, the way I like it. Uh, different workstations here. I've given a, a, a system setup and product review of Debian 10 before, so I'm not going to do that again. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click Applications and uh, come down to Internet and Firefox. And it's already uh, a session here for um, setup on the browser for Cockpit, so it should open right up. If not, we'll go ahead and open it. Um, I do not see it, and so let me uh, click the tab and type in localhost colon 9090 is the uh, uh, the port, and so here we are, Debian, GNU, Linux, Cockpit. Cockpit, as you know from my uh, Fedora 31 workstation uh, video, is uh, an application that allows you to monitor the systems and uh, also to... Um, um, you know, go ahead and do your setup for your um, your updates, either security updates or your regular updates as well. So let me go ahead and put in my Data Pioneer username and password. Log in here and uh, should bring up oh, wrong password. Let me put the password in again. All right, so here we are. Um, this program includes the Debian GNU Linux system of free software, exact distribution terms for each program described in the individual files under user shared doc star copyright. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. And here we are. So this is uh, Cockpit for Debian. I showed you Cockpit for Fedora 31. This, is, of course, is an aptitude-based system, whereas um, Fedora is a... Um, is a not a an aptitude, but instead is DNF or YUM, uh, Yellow Dog Update Manager. All right, so here we are. It's um, um, 2019, 2012, 1120, uh, Debian 10 desktop VM. Um, it's showing me a graphical representation here. I've got one CPU core on the VM, so it's showing me a uh, percentage of core being utilized by the system. You have memory and swap um, allocation here as well. Things that are being going things that are going on here for memory and swap. Uh, disk IO is also being represented. Uh, here are the logs and they're um, for error and above severity. I don't see any so it may not have captured any of the logs yet. Um, storage we're looking at storage here for uh, in here storage logs. So we do have some logs um, for reading and writing we have, and then for RAID devices and drives that we have as well. Off to the right hand side, networking. Um, you can see here that we have for sending and receiving, and IP address of 192.168.1.57/24. Uh, I am wired connected here. Um, accounts, I've got both my Data Pioneer and my root account in here. For services, uh, we've got targets, we've got system services, um, since it's a remote file system, um, things that are enabled and disabled, and off to the right-hand side, there shows whether they're inactive or dead. Uh, so let's see here, um, for network here, network pre-target, inactive and dead. 
um, shutdown, power failure, we've got inactive and dead too, as well. So we've got all these and we can turn those on by just clicking the button here. For applications, um, no applications installed or available. Um, that's not true, so we're going to have to figure out why it's not presenting that. Software updates. Now, um, here we may have some updates. We do. We have an update for Firefox uh, extended support release. Uh, it is a uh, security fix, according to this. So I'm going to go ahead and install that. So let me go ahead and click the button to install that security update. And uh, so it installs it fairly quickly, it looks like. And when it gets through updating here, I will um, show you what renders on the uh, interface. So it looks like it had to do a security patch on the extended support release version of Firefox as the security update. All right, and so it's recommending a restart. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm going to go ahead and ignore it. And uh, for terminal, um, here we are in the terminal. You can barely see it because I've got it uh, small. Don't need to see if I can bump that up. There we go. So let's do a uname R, and we see we're running kernel 4.19.0-4, and that's controlled in the browser. By the way, I, I can lower that back down to 110%. Um, I just want to bring it up so you could see it. Okay, so let me go ahead and exit out of here it says it's disconnected but if I hit reset that resets the terminal alright and so here's the local host and here's the dashboard and so let's go back to local host again and um, anyway um, that's all I wanted to show you just wanted to show you uh, um, cockpit in um, Debian uh, GNU Linux, and uh, it's fairly similar to what you saw in Fedora 31, but it's a little bit different. Installed it using uh, apt-get uh, install a cockpit as opposed to DNF, which is the package manager for Fedora. I'm going to go ahead and restart the system. So when I restart it, I'm going to tell it to restart it right away. No delay. Restart. Okay, you can set up automatic updates in uh, Debian just like you did for Fedora as well. And so um, this has been a, uh, a look at Cockpit for Debian 10, uh, Data Pioneer here. And um, if you like my video, go ahead and do a thumbs up on the video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that uh, bell out to the right hand side of that and uh, go ahead and subscribe. So this is Data Pioneer. You have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.